during summertime, we really want to enjoy our home the best way we can. But oftentimes, we find ourselves finding some sand, dust, and the little things that are dirty at the bottom of the pool, and we don't know what to do. But today, we have Matt here, sales director at the Kirby Store in Dorval, to give us tips and advice on what to do with that dirty things up at the bottom of the pool. Absolutely. Before we can do anything, first thing we need to do is identify what is at the bottom of the pool. A lot of phone calls that we get during the season is uh, asking basically if it could be the sand from the filter. Uh, this is a common sand filter that's been on the market for a very long time. Uh, to identify whether or not it's the sand from the filter, first of all, we've got to consider that it hasn't been sand for quite a while now. For about 10 years, we've been selling filtration quartz, which has a green tint, which by default makes it easy to mix up with algae. Um, so if you want to be able to identify if it is sand, the best thing you want to do is get into the pool. If it's warm enough, of course. <laughs> if you can actually physically grab it, you'll be able to see right away if it's filtration quartz or filtration sand at the bottom of the pool, you're going to be able to grab it in your hands. If it's dust or algae, as soon as you go to grab it, it's just going to dissipate throughout the water. And what do you do when it dissipates in the water? If it dissipates in the water, uh, it's, it's algae or dust, as we mentioned. The best thing to do would probably take a water sample, maybe even a picture, bring those to the store, go get your water tested and ask for some help because there's going to be some chemical solutions to be able to fix this. And if it's sand? Absolutely. So if you do find out that it's sand, uh, you at that point have an issue with your filter. You're going to want to fix this as soon as possible because you're never going to get a good filtration without fixing this. Most of the time when you get sand into your pool, uh, it's going to be the lateral assembly that's actually inside the filter in the sand itself. So it might you want be broken or not it, installed properly? Exactly. Uh, it's, most of the time it's because it's broken. Most of the time you've had it running for a few years with no sand. So you're going to want to take a look at it. To do so, you're going to want to take off uh, the clamp on top and open up your filter. You're going to have to remove the sand that's inside the filter. Mm -hmm. And then you're wanna, going to want to verify this assembly here. It comes all open inside. You're going to want to verify these branches here make sure that they're not broken or even sometimes it can be the actual bottom of the lateral assembly that can be cracked. You're going to want to replace that. We can pair those in store and uh, at the same time probably replace your sand. And when you have an accumulation of sand at the water return, what do you do? Exactly. Well, because of the density of the filtration quartz, it's going to drop fairly right away below the actual return jet, kind of form a triangle at the bottom. Uh, what you're going to want to do first is fix the source of the problem, which is the actual lateral assembly in the sand filter, and after that, we'll be able to back it up all the way. Fabulous tips and advice to make sure that we enjoy the pool properly and it's clean as most times as possible, and uh, we're ready for summer. <laughs>